For more on these appointments, former Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Senator Gbenga Kaka, uh, joins me now on the program. Thank you for joining us on the program, distinguished uh, Senator. The President promised a government of national competence, and we may have just seen the first batch of this uh, cabinet that will make up the National Executive Council of his administration, four ex-governors, and quite a number of sitting and former lawmakers. What's your first impression of this list? Well... I think it's a very good bet. Good in the sense that uh, we have what people call technocrats and listed. And uh, those with experience in government, we have them in abundance there. Former ministers are there. They are there. We have former governors with wealth of experience coming on board. And uh, the politicians that we normally say that uh, they wouldn't want to work and some other person will come and uh, take their position or be used instead of them. Uh, many of them, in large number, were also included. Then who, those who actually worked, even from other parties, to ensure the success of the party and of, of course, the Mr. President. We can say that some of them were adequately compensated also. So by and by, I think it is a good start. And um, you look at um, the whole nation as expected, well represented from all the states in the Federation, subject to the identity that will come in the next few days. Of course, I was just going so to say maybe, all, maybe not all states yet um, until we see the remaining part uh, of well, this list. And then mm. we, uh, we, we cannot afford to leave them. They are, the other states are coming on board. Mm. So it's a good start. And I think uh, like some of us expected that many people will not be disappointed. The assumption was that uh, Mr. President is fully on top of the game. And I personally, I often tell people that right from the conclusion of the election, Mr. President is having his first 11 cabinet members, the second 11 are in the wind, and the third 11 are in the wind. Like a good coach, all he needed to do, which he had been doing before now, is to shovel the list available and then try to give us the best. I think in, a, in an attempt to give us the best, that's why for 28, maybe they are still trying to cross the T and dot the I. So that's why the entire list was not made complete. But well, Senator, are so you are you are you disappointed that the president seems to have continued the tradition of sending this list without attaching their portfolios? Or is that something you expect that it would do subsequently? Well if um, the C V is attached it will, it will assist the Senate in their screening process. But without it as well, um, you look at the caliber of people on the list. I don't know what type of TV we are looking for again. Is it from the governors or from the former ministers or from the uh, uh, National Assembly members that are now being listed? So most of them will be asked to take a bow and go. So whether attached or not attached, uh, I'm sure a good job has been done. And um, by the grace of God, Mr. President, we know you have freely given him the mandate. And the, 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 box, the box stops at the table. So he has the mandate. 
he is he has actually informed the Nigeria that uh, he will be accountable. So whatever he does and he refuses to do, the box stops at his table. So that uh, we should give him the last to walk and feel free to choose among the people he thinks can best deliver the dividend of democracy to Nigeria. You know, it's interesting so you mentioned, we, Senator, we, that um, some people will take a bow and go, just as the tradition we've seen in previous um, assemblies. But um, how does that strengthen the screening process and also engage these nominees in such a way that they will sit up when they eventually get their offices? Well, it's been, tra it's been the tradition. Uh, it is assumed that for a formal National Assembly member to have merited being nominated for cabinet position, he must have exhibited the needed quality so that uh, the thinking is that it will be mere wasting of time and the lack of disrespect for the would be a candidate. So, by and large, the honor, I don't think it's well, it's not, it's not a displaced honor. So, it's well placed, and uh, uh, sustaining the tradition is not saying that uh, people cannot ask questions. Sometimes, they derive pleasure in even asking more questions from a particular person before eventually asking to or her to take a bath. So it depends on the approach and then the frame of mind of the legislators themselves to do what is um, expected of them. Sometimes they enjoy the intellect of some uh, nominee and engage them even beyond what is expected, not out of the fact that uh, they want to humiliate or do anything onto work, but they want to satisfy themselves that, yes, this is the man, and prove to the world that, yes, he, merit, he or she merited that particular slot. All right. Just let's take a few minutes, um, Senator Kaka, to uh, take a look at some of the responses we're getting on social media as regards what Nigerians think of the makeup of this initial list. Um, Dikpo Uyenola uh, is saying that too much of known politicians, fingers crossed, uh, according to Adipo uh, 656. And Adebayo S. Yomi is saying, I'm impressed, especially with Dr. Edu Umahi, Wali, and Wiki on the list. I'm sure they will deliver. Uh, Ledu Madiba Tigbara is saying, the best ministerial nominees in the history of Nigeria. And um, Yusufisa, most unexpected, according to uh, that tweet. For Rasulam, it would have been 100% if the list came with the portfolios. But you hear the senator say that um, the, the CVs of these people are perhaps known, and it's easy for the lawmakers to decide. Governor Ade is saying agreement is agreement. And that sounds familiar, you know if you know what he's talking about. Ayuba Lima, I lost hope with the renewed hope agenda with people like Badaru on the list. Uh, not quite sure um, why you are not interested in the former governor. Uh, comrade Opia is saying, reward for those who supported and work hard for him during the election, compensation for some politicians. And then there are some quality individuals on the list. Above all, they are competent and have done well in their various fields. We can only wish him the best and also pray. Uh, remember to use the hashtag first 100 days and also tag at TVC News and at Nifemi Ogun Toye. Let me get back to you, distinguished senator. Uh, just before we let you go, let's talk about the gender balance on this initial list. Seven out of the 28 nominees are women, making 25%. Are you impressed? Well, of course, yes. Yeah. Um, from the Constitution, I mean, the Constitution, Minimum of 10% of the women are expected. And uh, you look at 10% of 40, that's four. So, so if you have this seven, and we still have about 15 more, 14 or 15 more to go. So the likelihood is 
that um, out of the remaining um, 15, they are still likely to have three or four or more. Let me butt in very quickly. Let's talk about that amendment, 10%. I mean, countries like Rwanda minimum, have achieved, have achieved as high as 50%. You know, don't you think we should have risen the bar beyond 10%, even at the minimum? Don't get it wrong. When you hear a minimum of 10%, that can mean 95%. It can mean even 100%. If the president decided to make it 100% and all women cabinet, I don't think anybody will raise any eyebrow. After all, they are our mothers. I hear you, and, uh, Senator, and I didn't quite get you wrong. I'm saying... Minimum puts it at minimum, right? It now, you know, it's the president is now at liberty to do more than 10. But I'm saying to match up with the gender balance expectation, don't you think we should have increased the minimum beyond 10%? We've done, we've done 10% in the past, so it's not an improvement from um, what has pre-existed. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that already the 7 is above 10%. And Mr. President is at liberty to increase the number in the second batch of 15, either 14 or 15, that will be coming. So whichever way it goes, it is never too late. Amendment could still be made. And mind you, we have uh, 42 All right. cabinet members. Uh. Out of the 42, Mr. President is at liberty to reshovel and bring in new faces. All right. So I don't think uh, it's not iron packet. I get your optimism, um, distinguished senator. I'm okay. afraid that's our time. Former Deputy Governor of Ogun State, um, Senator Benga Kaka, who is also a, a distinguished senator, uh, thank you so much for finding time to talk to us on the program this evening. Thank you very much. And that's our program today. You can watch a repeat broadcast at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. By the way, we won today with only 35% possession after over 100 minutes. Super Falcons emerged victorious, beating Australia 3-2. And Aziza Doshola emerged the first Nigerian to score in three different editions of the World Cup. We'll leave you with the first lady celebration uh, while watching the match earlier at our residence. I'm Nifem Yuguntoye. Do have a great time.